Well, to get things started, you should run Anaconda Navigator. You should get a web browser open. You should get Excel up and going. And hiding in behind here, I've also got the Arduino IDE running. So let's get all of those programs running and then we can start doing some useful stuff with them. First thing to do is launch Jupyter Notebook. We just push this button. We should see a terminal window pop up, which will start the uh, kernel that runs in the background. And then a new tab will pop up on our uh, on our web browser. So if that all worked, we can put that navigator window away, and we could also hide that terminal window away to keep things uncluttered. Next, if we go over to the Arduino window, we could open up another uh, sketch. I recently had the serial output sketch open, so I'll open it up. And there I've got serial output as well. Now you'll be noticing, I hope, that this type here is really tiny and difficult to see. So I would like to encourage all of you who'd like to get our help looking over your shoulder to make it big enough that we can see. And the first thing to do is we'll go to the Arduino preferences and we'll set that font size to something more like, oh, 13 or 14. And I'll say, OK. Now I've got code that's actually almost big enough to see. If it's hard to see when you step back, make it even bigger. And I'll go up to 18 here. That's lots. Now it's too big to fit in the window. So let's make that little program code window a little bit bigger so we can see all the code. That still leaves us lots of space on our screen to play with. So if I've got the Arduino Uno plugged into the serial port, I can go down here and select which board I've got, the Arduino Genuino Uno uh, on the tools menu. And at the same time, I can make sure that I've got the correct port selected for the serial port that it's plugged into. I've got both of those set up right, so I'm now ready to compile this code and download it to the Arduino, see if it runs. So I push this button to compile and upload. I start seeing some activity happening down here. It says it's uploading, and now it says it's done uploading. So that code should now be running on our Arduino Uno. But how can we tell? We need to look at the serial monitor. And we can get that by pushing this little magnifying glass icon. There's the serial monitor. And I'll put it over here so that I can see both of them at the same time. Because I want to be able to update my code and see what happens as a result. So it's really good to have both of these on your screen at the same time so that if we're coming around to help you, we can see what your code looks like and we can see what's coming out of the Arduino when it's actually running. Now this is going kind of slowly. It's only printing out about every second. I could go back here and change this delay from 1,000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. Upload the code again. And this time it's going a little faster. So that process will let you repeatedly update and run your code to make sure things are working. Now, if you started off say getting gobbledygook like this, that'll be a clear indication that you haven't made your serial communications work right. Here we're beginning the serial port with 115,200 baud. That's the serial port speed. That's got a match down here on the serial monitor. And when we make it match, we'll actually see the characters come out. And that'll work for us. 